Welcome to Imagine Ocean. Take a deep breath, because in just 10 seconds, our enchanting story begins. Now, close your eyes and let your Imagine Ocean take flight. Lost on the Mountain Edwin, a man in his mid-thirties, packed his gear to climb the uncharted peak of Mount Cruelchill. He was a seasoned mountaineer, known for his daring solo treks to the most remote peaks. But Mount Cruelchill was known for its harsh climate. The inaccessibility of its slopes made it a formidable opponent for even the most experienced adventurers. Yet, Edwin was undeterred. He set off early one morning, feeling the chilly bite of the mountain air. The calmness of nature was deceptive. The mountains were unpredictable and could turn hostile in seconds. As he ascended, a dense cloud of fog covered the peak. Visibility was severely compromised. He continued, relying on instincts honed over years of mountaineering. But the blizzard struck suddenly, reducing visibility to zero. Edwin knew he had to seek shelter. He stumbled upon a small cave and decided to wait out the storm there. When Edwin awoke, he discovered he'd lost his backpack with all his supplies. All he had left was his climbing gear and a survival knife. He was stranded without food or water. Though worried, he knew panic would do no good. He remembered the survival training he had undergone and decided to start by looking for water. Despite the bitter cold, he melted snow to drink. He conserved energy, moving only when necessary. His knowledge from countless climbs was now a lifeline. Locating food was a greater challenge. He scouted the terrain for signs of edible vegetation or small animals. He found a handful of edible berries, a small consolation. Edwin marked his progression with rocks. Meanwhile, the search party was having no luck. Edwin was alone in his battle against the cruel mountain and time. Days turned into a week. Edwin was growing weak. With limited food and harsh temperatures, his energy level was dwindling rapidly. However, he refused to give up. Edwin was forced to test the limits of his endurance. He rationed his daily intake to a few berries and melted snow. His strength was ebbing, but not his spirit. His mind began to play tricks. He saw mirages of rescue helicopters. He heard voices, but when he responded, his echoes were the only reply. He was suffering from isolation. He knew he had to get off the mountain, despite his weakest state. He started climbing down, leaning heavily on his instincts to guide his way. One evening, he found a stream. He followed it, hoping it would lead him to civilization. Meanwhile, rescuers found his rock markers and started tracing his path. His body was failing, but his will remained strong. Each painful step was a symbol of his determination to survive. He had to make it, for himself, for his family. Eventually, the stream led him to a larger water body. He signaled for help, but no one was in sight. Nonetheless, it was a positive sign, a beacon of hope. Finally, the rescue team spotted Edwin, lying unconscious by the water body. He'd left a trail of markers leading to his location. His survival instinct had saved him. Edwin woke in a hospital. He was dehydrated, malnourished, but alive. His ordeal was over. Edwin had survived against all odds, marking yet another victory against Mother Nature's harshest challenges. In hindsight, Edwin's story is a testament to human spirit and survival instinct. Not only did he survive the harsh conditions of Mount Cruelchill, but he emerged stronger, resilient, and wiser. 
Today, Edwin stands as an inspiration to adventurers worldwide. His story reminds us that even in the face of adversity, a strong will and determination can work wonders. He remains a humble man, continuing his mountaineering expeditions with lessons learned from his ordeal. Edwin's story is a beacon of hope for all those who face insurmountable odds. His survival has instilled a sense of responsibility towards Mother Nature. He urges all adventurers to respect her power and prepare thoroughly before embarking on an expedition. His adventure on Mount Cruelchill has not deterred him from mountaineering. Instead, it's given him a new perspective, a greater respect for the power of nature, and an understanding of his limits. Edwin's tale is not just about survival, but about the indomitable human spirit. His story serves as a reminder of our strength, resilience, and the power of the human will to survive. The End